All right, today we're gonna to be looking at the knee and the knee in order to have this flexing and extending action, it has to have a element of rotation to the joint movement. So today we're gonna to learn how to isolate that joint movement so that we can train it as a way of improving the function of the knee to do what it needs to do both from a stability perspective and a strength perspective. So uh, to start out with, we're just going to have our toes up off the ground. I'm gonna be working on this leg. So I'm gonna take my hands and I like to either interlace my fingers together or just kind of set them on top of each other. And then my thumbs are gonna find the two bony prominences, kind of bony areas, and it doesn't need to be super specific here, but just kind of find a place for your thumbs to rest. And then we wanna to try to get ourselves in a position where I can look down the front of my shin. So I have my kneecap here, and then below that, if I travel straight down, I kind of reach this uh, bony prominence of our tibial tuberosity. So it's a little bump, it's gonna vary, the size of the bump will vary depending on your anatomy. So just kind of go from the bottom of the kneecap straight down and you should find something that resembles this bony prominence. And this is our sight point. Um, so it's something that's helpful to uh, differentiate between the kneecap, which we're gonna be looking at as a way to make sure that the femur stays still so that we can focus on moving at the tibia and fibula or the lower leg. So with my hands on the outside here, I'm gonna look over and I'm gonna turn my toes to the outside. Now, as I do that, I should see that bony prominence turn just a little bit. And then I'm gonna work back to the inside. Now, we wanna start moving this slow so that we can demonstrate control throughout the entire range of motion. And then you'll also notice that my foot is staying flat, meaning that I'm not turning my ankle so that my toe drops either pinky toe down or big toe down. Okay, I wanna to try to keep my foot flat and just turn it one direction and then the other. Okay, so that's gonna be the first part and that's our ankle, excuse me, our knee rotations as a way to practice that fundamental movement that we'll do in the full variation of knee cars. So the full variation of knee cars is going to be, again, supporting underneath, having that heel now suspended off the ground. We'll start with rotation to the outside, extend as far as we can, and then rotate to the inside. Now at this end range here, there's very little rotation. So just understand that as I get further and further out here, there's gonna be less turning that happens, okay? so. Um, as we get more advanced, we'll pull that knee further and further up. That will challenge the hamstring. But the, for now, we can just kind of start holding here, rotate out, stand up, rotate in, flex down. That would be one direction. The other direction would be toes in as we extend, external rotation at the top, and then flex back down. So these are two stepping stones or two progression steps to get to that knee car is first working on developing the control of the rotation and then uh, putting that into the full range of motion movement for the knee cars. So start with the rotations, build your way into the knee cars, and enjoy some happier, healthier knees.